Good morning, good morning, my friends. Welcome back to another day in the life of a teacher mom vlog. So today is Monday, November 16th, and I am just getting ready to leave the house. It is like 6.10. Um, I am gonna go to Starbucks this morning because I am out of coffee and I am out of creamer. Luckily though, I do have some leftovers for lunch from Thai chili. Um, today is my formal pre-conference for my observation, which is Thursday, so I'm a little bit nervous for that. Normally, I'm not really too nervous about observations and evaluations and things like that, but because I'm at a new school with a new principal and all new administrators, it is a little bit nerve-wracking, especially because I haven't really seen my administrators. Like, our school is K-8. through eight. And so, they have a lot of things going on, like I can imagine they have a lot going on. Um, and also the whole like pandemic thing, they're just not coming into rooms like they would normally do because from what I've been told, <laughs> if they're not worried about you, like if they think you can handle it and they like aren't worried about you being like, I don't know how to explain this. Like, if they think you're okay and they don't need you to walk through, then you won't see them. <laughs> like, if you're doing a good job, you won't see them. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed that um, everything will go well, but it's just hard because like when you don't see your administrator, you don't really know what to expect what, from them as an evaluator. Like, if they'd come in a few times and be like, hey, your room looks great, or hey, like I love what I saw, then you would kind of know what to expect. I have no idea what to expect. So as soon as I get to school, I need to email my principal, my lesson plan, my Nearpod, and then all of the papers that go along with the lesson, which I have not created all of them yet. So I'm gonna hurry up and do that. I also have a student council meeting today, and today is the first council meeting that we have with our officers that have been elected. So I need to push a schedule out to those officers so that they can help me run the meeting. So that is a whole nother ball game. And then, yeah, I will walk you guys through my day. Um, I got a new gym bag. Super fancy um, from TJ Maxx. It was like $10, but it's nice because I was taking my little Kate Spade backpack and that thing is falling apart. So I got a new gym bag. Super cute, I can carry it around with me, can put all my stuff in it. It's great, I'm good to go. So I need to pack my pre-workout. I like the Alani new pre-workout. My favorite flavor is the Hawaiian shaved ice. I love it, I keep it in my fridge. It helps to keep it a little bit. It helps to keep it fresher a little bit longer. Just gonna plop that in there and then Guys, I'm getting ready to get out of here. I think I might get breakfast at Starbucks. I don't normally eat breakfast, but my belly is hungry today, so I'll probably just get some egg bites. But I'm on my way. Look at all of this crap. <laughs> so something that I've been doing, you guys, to help kind of keep myself like balanced and managing all the things I do um, is I keep this laundry basket in the back of my car and inside of it I have like random stuff, um, pull-ups for if Cash has like some major accidents and I don't have any extra clothes. Um, workout clothes are in here. I have um, some toilet paper. Um, I have swim diapers for when we do swimming. Um, towels. Uh, we do swimming every Thursday. And so in order to keep myself like prepared for everything, I just keep like stuff in the back of my car for every activity that we do so that if for some reason I forget something, I'm covered. So um, I need to put this in here so it doesn't spill. And then that. Okay, I think I have everything ready to go. I don't exactly know why this is, but I am one of those people that doesn't decorate for Christmas until after Thanksgiving. I'm not hating on anybody who decorates early, but I will tell you, I did put a Christmas Olaf in my front yard yesterday because I have a three-year-old, oh my gosh, a three-year-old who desperately wanted to put Olaf out in the front yard yesterday. 
it's just fun I'm driving through like the neighborhood and seeing all the cute little Christmas decorations and I'm like I really want to decorate for Christmas but I also know that I have like next week sorry this week and then next week is Thanksgiving so I'll just wait until next week um so I'm on my way to Starbucks my little commute to Starbucks is probably like five minutes I always always use my app and order I run in and pick up and it ends up taking me like 10 minutes total in my like whole trip and that just kind of depends like on if my drink is ready I tried going on November 1st and I think that was the day of like the holiday drink and cup situation and I was there until like 7 15 and I was like no we can't be doing this Starbs. Now I'm a happy camper, although I don't have anywhere to put it because all my cup holders are full because I went on a little road trip over the weekend and now I have stuff all over my car. All right, what did I get today? I got a Trenta iced coffee with vanilla, classic, and soy milk. Mmm. Tastes a little burnt, but that's okay. It's coffee, it's gonna give me the caffeine I need. <laughs> okay, it is now 6.36, which means I will probably get to school at like 6.40, which is great for me because I have so much to do today. So, um, we have officially had, I think it's one confirmed adult COVID case at our school. No, I do not know who it is. Um, they told us if we had any close contact with this adult that we would have been contacted. So um, that was like last week or something. And so I know that I haven't had any contact with that adult. Um, so uh, my entire homeroom is back. I do not have a single child that is out isolating or anything now at this point from my homeroom. However, from my second class, I do have, I think, three and then one from my third class that is now in isolation. Isolation is different than quarantine. Isolation means that they have a or multiple symptoms of the you-know-what, and they are awaiting a negative test result to be able to come back to school. So they do have to isolate for 10 days or they can come back sooner if they get a negative test. So that has become very frustrating because I am at this point teaching hybrid learning because I'm having to provide multiple students with uh, virtual assignments. Uh, luckily though, they can take their computers home but it is becoming quite a task. Um, so I do allow them to Google Meet in. Um, I think I mentioned this before, but they can join my Google Meet in the morning and then they can sit in on live lessons and get live instruction. So that's really nice, but it is really difficult to provide them with like an online version of what we're doing, especially if it's like paper copy like if because I give my kids a lot of stuff to glue into their notebooks and so if the kids are not there I can't give them what they need to glue in their notebooks and I don't want to make a virtual copy because then they're not going to have it in their notebook when they come back so that's been um tough I do however provide the office like I'll send a paper copy up to the office and I'll just let the parent know like hey there's a paper copy of something in the office if you don't mind grabbing it or I'm fine with them waiting till they come back to get it. And then I put pictures of everything we put in our notebooks up on Google Classroom so they could potentially like catch up and um, fill that in if they need to. So this week I am starting to teach weathering and erosion again. 
So this is a topic that I did cover online in the first quarter. I think it was one of the very first things that I taught. However, I still have a lot of students that don't know what weathering and erosion is and they don't know the difference between the two. So I think it's a really important topic, especially for fourth grade science since they are tested on it. Um, they need to know it. So today and tomorrow I will teach vocabulary and basic information. Thursday is my observation day and we're going to do an erosion cookie lab. So I really want to get the kids hands on seeing erosion weathering in person. And then the next day I will do my own demonstration of weathering and erosion and I'm going to use a Generation Genius video. But it's so hard in the cold summer. Usually the first one that gets here every day and it looks like there are plenty of people here before me <laughs> which is great um, so okay things I need before I go in the building mask I need that I need my keys we do take our temperatures before we can uh, enter the building not like enter the building but like get through the office and um i swear the thermometer in there doesn't work because i'm always like 92 degrees i'm like um i don't think so this mask by the way is made by my friend shannon over at teaching joys she has this really amazing website shop where she makes headbands she's really on the mask train right now um love you shannon love your masks super thin my eyeglasses don't fog when I wear these so I love that okay first oh, you guys this is the life of a mom right here spilled animal crackers I can't win hey you guys so I finally made it in the building it was not without struggle though <laughs> my hands were so full between coffee and water and water and coffee <sighs> okay I gotta unload stuff here so I got my little eggy bites for breakfast and I don't need anything else out of this purse so I'm gonna put it away okay this is problematic I've got lunches in here from last week because when they bring me extra lunches we keep them in the fridge in case they like I don't know I guess forget to bring one one of the days but now my fridge won't close so that's problematic okay here we go got it I need to clean that fridge out okay um to-do list this morning I need to type up an agenda for my stuco meeting I need to finish making my items for my observation lesson. And then honestly, I'm not ready even for today. So I'm probably gonna just wing it. Um, <laughs> we'll see, maybe some doodle notes. That could take some time. So maybe we'll do that, which means I need to find and make copies of that. I have like a 30 minute study hall time in my third class that I can work on my student council stuff. The priority right now is today's stuff because I cannot go on without doing today's stuff. Also, I think my computer's dead, so that's fun. And let's see what else I brought home that I didn't use. Oh, all of this stuff. <laughs> you guys do that, huh? Take stuff home. Oh, I'm totally gonna work on it. Nope, sure didn't. Okay. Let's get this bad boy up.
slowing down to get their sleep. They've had enough bringing life to others. But I still don't know what else to seek. Thank you, Starbucks, for giving me a knife to eat my egg bites with. Smile in the morning hours. guys so it is now my prep period and this is pretty much the only prep period that I get all week um, in my actual classroom so it is um, Mondays and Fridays I get a 40 minute prep time in my actual classroom by myself the other three days a week I have library taking place in here so I pretty much lose that 40 minute time in my classroom I have to go and do it somewhere else so Mondays and Fridays are like my paradise because I can come in my room, sit quietly, nobody talks to me, and um, it's really nice. So right now I am working on some other documents for my observation lesson, and I'm making a lab page for them to work on, and I am going to finish that and then I will probably start planning for next week. It has been a very stressful morning moving fast, but I did um, switch up my vocabulary procedure today and I decided to, and I haven't been doing it and I don't know why, I guess it's just one more thing that I keep forgetting that I used to do and that is mirror vocabulary. And so that's where like, I have all the kids stand up and we go through the vocabulary words and I have the kids act it out while we read through them and it's just a lot more fun and engaging for them than just sitting there and reading the vocabulary words so they had already copied them down sorry I'm just pruning myself they had already copied down the words and the definitions so I always do like a closed notes version of vocabulary just because I think it's exhausting for the kids to have to like copy the entire definition um it just takes forever when i can just have them fill in some blanks in the definition and then i have them write the word so they write the word and then they fill in the blanks in the definition and it just takes a lot less time and is easier for my sped kids and my ell kids and all around it's just better for everybody so um we did that and then when we come back from lunch and recess we're gonna um take notes on weathering and the forces that cause weathering. And so that is what we're doing today. I need to print this and then I'm gonna go pick up some copies at the copy machine. So yeah, I'll probably see you guys at the end of the day because after this, I don't have any more private breaks. Um, I will go eat my lunch in the lounge with a couple other teachers because the kids eat in here and I just like to have my own time to eat and then we have recess outside. So um, I will probably pick you guys up at the end of my day, which is a student council meeting and then my formal observation pre-conference. So we'll see how that goes. Okay. Ready? Hi, Vanessa. <laughs> so we're at the gym. Um, it looks like there's a class getting ready to start, so we should probably dip out. But uh, Nicole's not here today. It's just Vanessa and I. So <laughs> um, we're probably gonna have to dip. But let's bring your little weights with us. Okay. So we're gonna move and um, finish our workout here.
so it is now 6.42. Cash and I went to Old Navy after the gym and I picked up a couple of sets of Christmas pajamas. I had to get a tag removed, like the security tag from a t-shirt that we bought a couple weeks ago. So we had to get that removed and then I ended up finding some PJs for like 50% off. So we grabbed a few of those and just a couple other things. That's the gym. Yeah, that's the gymnastics gym. Um, so it is 642 now. Yeah, Cash is begging to drive his Paw Patrol car. So we're probably gonna go home and do that for like 10 minutes. And then we will run inside and make dinner real fast. In fact, maybe we'll put your chicken nuggets on while we drive your car and then when we come back, they'll be ready. Should we do that? Okay, that's a good idea. Um, he is begging to drive his car, so we'll do like a 10 minute drive. I usually just set a timer, let him drive it for 10 minutes and then he turns around and then we go back. So, um, you know, and then it goes off and then we go back. So, um, then we will eat dinner we will read some stories. Wanna read some books? Yeah. Huh. I see you back there. If we go that way, we're not gonna go home. That's the way to school. We need to go this way to go home. You guys, I'm exhausted, long day. Um, I need to go to Walmart tomorrow and buy all those things for my labs because today I just didn't have the time and I need to get him home to eat, get myself home to eat, I'm starving. Um, tomorrow's a new day, but I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and I'm gonna end it right here because things are about to get crazy busy when we get home, so thank you guys. So thank you guys so, so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed and Cash and I will see you in the next one. Bye.